but i can't tell you guys i can really tell the difference between the roses having smelled these fragrances they all smell floral to me i'm going to repurchase it because i really really do like that fragrance there's nothing wrong with wearing mass appealing fragrances well my dad has literally lived his whole life sacrificing things for me what is cairo by ten halligans that i can't sacrifice for him <laughs> my people my people welcome back to my channel i make videos to help you smell good look good and feel good it's miss prissy baby in today's video i will be bringing you my top 10 favorite rose fragrances from my collection a few facts and figures rose is actually the queen of flowers over 250 million roses are sold around the world on valentine's day every year which means that it's the most sold flower in the world on valentine's day so if you want to know what my favorite rose fragrances are without further ado let's get right into the video the way i'll be doing the video today i'll tell you the fragrance i'll tell you the sort of rose that is in it because apparently there are different types of roses i'll tell you a bit about what i think and we'll move on to the next fragrance first fragrance incoming of course i had to start with one of the most popular rose fragrances from 2021 it's Delina from Parfums de Mali. Loads of people love this fragrance, whether it's the exclusive or the, you know, regular Delina, which is what I've got. Delina is a rose spicy fragrance. The sort of rose it's got in it is Turkish rose, which I want to believe that the reason it's called Turkish rose is because it originates from Turkey. It's got other flowers in it like peony and all of that, but we're not going into that today. The top of this fragrance is spicy. It's got lychee. It's got saffron. It's got some incense in it. It's a really beautiful feminine girly fragrance well it's sort of girly but at the same time it's mature a lady can wear this a young lady can wear this it's just a really classic fragrance i really do like this fragrance it is long lasting it is unique enough it is grown it smells expensive it smells sophisticated it smells sweet as well and it smells really spicy delina from the house of perfumes de mali i move on next fragrance on the list is one of my absolute faves in my collection it's from the house of kiali and this is sweet diamond pink pepper 25 guys i have a whole review dedicated to this fragrance on my channel if you want to learn more about this fragrance like i literally have one review where i talk about this fragrance so this has got two types of rose in it it's got bulgarian rose and it's also got may rose in it i'm not going to pretend like i know what may rose is but again bulgarian rose i want to believe comes from bulgaria but i don't know what may rose is or where it comes from and i didn't do the research forgive me guys all i know is it smells like it's got rose in it it smells spicy as well in the sense that it's got that saffron note at the top note it's got some pink pepper notes in the top note it smells kind of sweet like it's got some vanilla in the base notes dare i say my favorite release from the house of kayali this also retails for around 79 pounds it's kind of affordable kind of affordable this is a perfect purchase for a young lady for a mature lady as well but i think a younger lady would appreciate this the rose in this fragrance a bit more i move on next on the list is a really sweet vanilla in fact this fragrance i would say is more of a vanilla fragrance than a rose fragrance this is la nuit tresor a la folie this fragrance has got the damask rose notes in it it is a sweet floral fragrance this is vanilla this is floral this is girly this is long lasting this is this is sweet it's a really really nice fragrance i think lancome do fragrances really well this was a fragrance that came highly recommended i blind bought it and i have no regrets about it moving on the next fragrance on the list has also got the damask rose in it but i can't tell you guys i can really tell the difference between the roses having smelled these fragrances they all smell floral to me this is a trap rare from the house of louis vuitton again i have a full review on my channel where i talk about this fragrance this is spicy this is sweet oh this has got the ginger notes in the top notes this smells fresh it's also got some peony in it to back it up and then it's got that rose that damask rose in it that makes it smell very girly makes it smell very feminine it's a really nice fragrance this fragrance is oh i've just remembered this i haven't worn this in the last two days because i've been wearing um off topic but as at the time i'm filming this video i've been wearing electimus mercurial cashmere so i haven't worn this in two days but again you can see the dent on this fragrance i'll just wait for the camera to focus i wore this fragrance a whole lot during christmas so whenever i smell it it kind of just reminds me of christmas you know in nigeria it's girly it's fresh i think this will be beautiful for summer for the hot weather because it's got that fresh feel to it it's got that floral feel to it and honestly i think this will really be perfect for gifting the reason i say that is because louis vuitton do their gift boxes 
really well so if you're looking to gift somebody something and you want them to have that special unwrapping on packaging experience Louis Vuitton is definitely the way to go it's not the most affordable but it's a really nice fragrance and definitely gift worthy I move on next on the list I'm going to do something a bit more affordable and that's good girl from the house of Carolina Herrera this has got the Bulgarian rose in it however it smells like a white floral fragrance to me more than it smells like a rose fragrance it's got the coffee notes it's got loads going on as I do prefer the bottle to the juice at this point when I originally got this fragrance I used to be like oh my god oh my god but now I think I have things in my collection that I do prefer however it doesn't discount this fragrance in any way it's a really beautiful fragrance the main reason I put it on this list is number one it's a rose fragrance and number two it's a really nice it's got really nice packaging and it's perfect for Valentine's Day it's a sort of gift that you give somebody and she takes it out and she's like oh my god men can lie you know she can put it on her dresser you can't argue the packaging is really nice for this fragrance moving on I've talked about some spicy roses I've talked about some sweet roses now moving on to an oudy rose is oud bouquet oud bouquet has just got straight up rose in it it's not any damask it's not bulgarian it's not any of those roses and this fragrance has also got the praline note in it which makes it smell sugary it's an oudy rose based fragrance this is long lasting this is a fantastic fragrance this is a classic in my collection mm, i wear this a lot and it's an all year round fragrance i wear this during the summer it's not too cloying to wear in the hot weather this fragrance it can do well in the hot weather it can do well in the cold weather i wear this a whole lot um even though i'm mising it but you can see the dent in on the fragrance i'll just wait for the camera to focus okay, and just need to clean that but you can see the dent in that uh, just wait for that to focus you can see the dent on that fragrance if you want to get a fragrance for someone who likes oud who likes fragrances that lean stronger oud bouquet is definitely the way to go moving on to another classic from my collection it's on the house of Giorgio Armani and this is C this is a classic in my collection I always have this in my collection this is one of my signature scents if you ever want to imagine what I smell like <laughs> I sometimes smell a lot like C. As this fragrance has got May Rose in it. Um, I don't know if I can say that I smell the similarity. So the fragrances that have got Damask Rose or the fragrances that have got May Rose, if I, I wouldn't say there are any similarities. But anywho, this has got the May Rose note in it. This is more of a woody, amber woody fragrance, I would say. It's got some patchouli in the base notes, which makes it last really long. This is more um, winter appropriate. But I would wear this all year round just because I really like it. It's my signature scent. I started loving this fragrance when I lived in Nigeria, which is a very, very hot country. I wear this a lot more now during the winter months. The projection on this fragrance is fantastic. The longevity on this is fantastic as well. We're talking nothing less than eight hours for C. You can also try out C Intense, which is the more recent release. I think it's a 2021 release, which is really beautiful as well or you can decide to go see passioni because that is red that's in a red bottle i'll be doing another video where i talk i talk about red bottle fragrances for valentine's day so keep your eyes peeled on the channel for that video i don't know if it will be out before this video or after this video but keep your eyes peeled anyways next on the list i haven't spoken about this fragrance in a very long time and it's a rose fragrance it's jador this is a classic by christian dior this is a classic fragrance this is a fragrance i have owned for years this is a fragrance that would have been in my mom's collection and now is in my collection it's a classic fragrance you know it's a safe blind buy as well and dior's packaging is really nice so dior and louis vuitton they do one of the best packagings for perfumes out there in my opinion so if you want to get something for somebody and you do not want to go the louis vuitton way because it's quite expensive you can decide to go the dior route because dior has got the private line but they've got their more general line which has got fragrances that are a bit more affordable and Jado is one of those fragrances it's a floral fragrance it is really nice long lasting this project it's it's a fresh designer fragrance you know you know that designer fragrance smell I don't know how to explain it but a lot of designer fragrances have that smell it's I won't say it's a synthetic smell but it's just this fresh simple smell that will not be offensive to anybody easy to wear crowd pleasers mass appealing jador really really beautiful fragrance there's nothing wrong with wearing mass appealing fragrances and these fragrances are also very safe to wear to work because at least you're sure that when you wear them people are not going to be like why yeah. is she smelling like that next on the list is one of my favorite 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 fragrances i can keep saying that favorite 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 it's intense cafe from the house of montal this is a coffee based rose fragrance this is sweet this smells like a latte but at the same time it's got that floral rose note in it 
it's a very sweet fragrance this is a beautiful gourmand fragrance number 10 on the list is also from the house of montal and this is crazy in love i have a whole review on my channel where i talk about this fragrance this is more like a spicy oody rose based fragrance this has got wild rose in it and honestly I totally agree it smells like it's got wild rose in it this is very harsh like this is a fragrance that is not for it's not for the faint-hearted like if you're not bold don't buy this because if, wherever you're seated people are going to be able to smell you and know that you're around so it's not for a shy person this is wild rose and it literally smells like it's got wild rose in it finally the bonus fragrance is from the house of penhaligons and it is Cairo i don't have the bottle awkward i know i <laughs> because i did a whole review on this fragrance on my channel and hold on i haven't decluttered it i actually gifted it to my dad when i was gifting this to my dad i was like oh my god oh my god but my dad has literally lived his whole life sacrificing things for me what is cairo by ten haligons that i can't sacrifice for him anywho so that has gone to my dad but i'm going to repurchase it because i really really do like that fragrance but i'm just pacing myself with my purchases we're only in february i need to take it easy with the purchases but that's a fragrance i'm definitely repurchasing cairo has also got damask rose in it it's a spicy rose oody sort of fragrance from the house of penhaligons penhaligons is a british based perfume house I highly 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 recommend I think they also do really nice packaging as well so if you're looking to gift somebody that's another house I, I definitely recommend those are my top 10 plus one favorite rose fragrances in my collection well, go ahead and let me know what your favorite rose fragrance is in the comment section down below also go ahead and do all of that good stuff guys like share and subscribe guys please like please share please subscribe and until I see you again in my next video because I look forward to seeing you again in my next video stay beautiful stay blessed Hi and bye. 250 million roses as over 200 over 250 million roses over 250 over to <laughs> The well be doing this video. The well be doing this so most of these fragrances most of these fragrances <laughs> This fragrance has got This fragrance is a spicy fragrance it's got some it's got some people will know that this has got bulgarian roses let's just check what roses cutting together